are you tired of manually leveling the 3D printer bed after every couple of prints? Well, today I'm going to show you how to install the CR Touch, the auto leveler for your 3D printer. Hi everyone. Today I got the CR Touch for my Ender 3. So my printer is going to be happy. First, let's open this up and see what's inside. So look like this is what you get that's the cr touch that's your sensor and then these are the different mount for different printer types i have the ender 3 so i'll just use one of those it comes with the instructions and under here we have the cable so this is going to go to the motherboard and the other side to the cr touch these are for the bed i believe because you need to remove these uh, springs the weak springs and then have these and your bed will be more stable now you have this fancy leveling thing you don't have to re-level the bed every once in a while um, i'm very excited let's um looks like there is a, some zip ties and screws uh, let's go to the printer and perform the surgery I, I mean the installation okay so i have the printer here uh, need to choose the part so we're going to need the cable the touch obviously these uh, rubber for the bed these are very nice um, i'm excited to get rid of these springs and i will choose the mount i have for the ender 3 uh, this is the mount that you choose for the ender 3 Obviously, if your uh, printer is different, then you would choose the other mount that comes with. So these are all come included. So then you have a couple zip ties and the screws. First, we're going to remove the bed. So I'm just, uh, by the way, this glass bed is really nice. I'll leave a link to it in the description. To get started you need to open the fan cover these two screws and then we're gonna screw in the mount All right, so just finished tighten up the mount, these two screws, and then I just mounted the CR touch here. Next is going to be the cable. So we'll route this to the motherboard, and I'll show you how to do that. So to route the cable, first we need to open up the cover here to get access to the motherboard. There are two screws here at the front and there is one here at the back you do need to move the bed to get to it so we'll open up this cover up here to get access to the motherboard and then we'll route the cable through it comes with a very long cable so you should be fine no matter which printer you have all right let's get to it so i'm gonna loosen up this screw here This is for the back screw for the motherboard cover. And the two front ones. All 
I've 3D printed this. It's uh, available on Thingiverse. It's a very nice um, 3D print you can do. Uh, it protects the fan from being exposed and it stops things from going in. See, like without that, the fan is very exposed and if you drop something or um, whatever happens, it might fall in and it, you're going to have a hard time dig it out. So this is kind of protect this hole. All right, let's get access to the motherboard. Um, be careful when you remove this cover. There is this cable that is for the fan. So I usually take that off. Oops. I might have pulled up the case. Let me see, figure that out. Okay, I can put that back. Let's see. That's why you do not do live demos. Okay. I think I can put this bag. There you go. There you go. See? Don't do live demos. Easy. Okay, now I have access to the motherboard. This is where we're going to plug in the CR touch cable. So you're going to plug it here. Obviously, we're going to route the cable the same way we are routing the hot end cable. So you see I have the direct drive and the hot end cable going here from the back and then inside here. So we're going to route it the same way. By the way, if you want to know how I installed this and I did the cable routing, there is a video that I'll link to it. Um, for this upgrade. But yeah, we're going to have to access the back cover as well to get to these cables and then we can route these cables. I'm crazy about cable management, so I do want to keep it clean. So we'll have to kind of do it the hard way, but it's going to end up clean and nice. Okay, so for the back cover here, there are two of these front screws and there's one here at the bottom. Uh, you do have to kind of lay the printer on the side, which I don't really like, but um, just for a moment here so I can get to the cables and do uh, route everything properly. So we'll show you how that looks like in a minute. Okay, so now I opened up these screws. You can see now I can access the cables. Um, see, I did this uh, last time. I'm going to have to cut these zip ties, uh, get the cable here, and then route it with the other cables. So hopefully you can see this. Um, I'll show you how it looks like at the end, um, but I definitely wanna keep the cables very clean. Okay, let me show you this here real quick. First, while you're at it, make sure you get your motherboard version. It would say on the motherboard for mine, it's 4.2.7. I believe this is compatible even with the older version, which is 4.2.2, but definitely check your motherboard version. You're going to need that to upgrade the firmware. Um, I plugged in the cable here, so here it is, and then I routed the cable here, and you can see with these other cables, I did cut this tape. So here, let me show you this. This is the tape here, and then I'm just going to route everything with these cables and then tie them back together, and then just do the zip ties here. It's a little bit more difficult for me to show on camera, but hopefully this gives you a clear picture. Okay, so here's a couple more things. Now I put this back in here. Um, this is the CR touch cable. I made sure it's kind of away from the hot end cable. I, I thought these might get hot, uh, so I'm not sure, but I thought this is safer to route it a little bit away from these cables. Um, yeah, don't forget your motherboard version. And then I sent the cable back here. So I'll show you here from the back. So yeah, that's the cable coming out here. And by the way, I've routed this cable. This is the screen cable. I routed it from the back. Um, so if you're doing this, this might be an opportunity to do that. And then, yeah, I zip tie these cables here, and now I'm going to route everything 
with my uh, direct drive cable. So, so first I'm gonna plug it in and then I'll get the extra cable here so I can tuck the extra in the bag. Um, so I'll connect it here, zip tie everything. Okay, so the cable is finished. Um, this is here, that's the cable. And then I just routed everything with my direct drive cable. If you have a Boeing tube, I'm sure you can do the same. And I've kind of just like reversed everything and then trace it back. And then there was some extra that I just tied up here on the side. And then that goes all the way in from the back to the motherboard. Next, we will change the bed screws and make sure the leveling is correct. And we'll go and uh, flush the firmware. So now I'm going to do the bed. Uh, by the way, if you're going to lay the printer down like this, I would recommend putting something underneath the bed so the cable doesn't get smashed. So you see I'm using these pliers here so the bed stays elevated and then you do, you do not smash the cable. Then now we're just going to replace these springs. I've done these springs upgrade. So these are better than the original springs that it comes with. But now we're going to replace these springs with those rubbers that comes with these. So these are going to go here. And if you ever going to get the auto leveling, um, it's definitely worth getting these or make sure the one that you're getting include those. I'll leave a link to the one that I'm using. It's really good so far. By the way, one of those is short. This one goes into the bag under the heat. So you see there are three the same. And this one is short. The short one goes here to the bag. So the short one goes here to the bag. And then the other three goes to the regular place. Yeah, so you loosen this up, right? Take the spring out. Put that in and then put it back in so that's how it works we'll do all four make sure that the bed is still leveled uh, after you're done so make sure they're all tight on the same um, same level okay now the bed is done so i removed all the springs and i replaced them with these kind of rubber pads um, now the last piece is to remove the the z-axis uh, button or the just like unplug it okay so before i start um, the auto leveler i wanted to make sure my bed is level kind of on its own uh, this kind of to uh, make sure that these are all tight at the same uh, torque and the same level so i'm just using this here um, to uh, make sure that the bed is leveled uh, appropriately. Um, so yeah, it looks, looks very good. I had to kind of mess with these uh, wheels a little bit to make sure it's aligned. And then I did both directions. So this looks good. Let's go to the computer and get the firmware. Okay, now I want to show you how to get the firmware for the CR Touch. I have a quick video showing you how to update uh, firmware for your printer, but we'll do it really quick here too. So this is the Creality official website. You go to support, download in Creality Cloud. We go to others. And here we have the CR Touch. You look for your printer. In my case, I am the Ender 3. Here, you also look for your motherboard version. Mine is 4.2.7. That's why I said you need to check your motherboard version while we were in there. Uh, it works also with 4.2.2. So for me, I'm going to download this here and move that to an SD card. Next, we'll take the SD card, put that in the printer while it's off, obviously. Then after inserting the SD card, 
turn the printer on and give it a second, it'll flush the new firmware on it. I keep saying SD card, I mean micro SD card. All right, let's get to the printer and do that. Okay, now I got the firmware on the SD card, um, micro SD card. I keep saying SD card for some reason. Okay, put that in there and let's turn it on. So, looks like the firmware upgrade just got done. Uh, now we're just test it out. So this is how we're gonna level the bed for the first time. Uh, we're still gonna use the paper like we usually do, but just for the first time setup. So we're gonna go motion. First, we will auto home. So it does that when you auto home. And then now we're going to go and we will move the Z axis. And oops, I think let's go here and we'll move this down to the paper thin level. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be negative 0.6. That's the value that we are going to offset the Z axis with. So we'll go to offset the Z axis. So we go bed leveling and then the Z offset. And we'll offset by negative... 0.6 that and we'll store the settings otherwise if you don't store the settings then if you turn off the printer you'll lose the settings and it resets but if you store it then you're good to go and then after that we'll just do level bed There's another thing we need to do in the slicer software. So we're going to go to manage printers and then we're going to go to the machine settings. After that, under the start G code, there is this G28. We are going to do G28, G29. So this is something we have to update here from G28 to G28, G29. 